Abby, the last chapter in our book uh, talks about change agents, becoming a change agent. Um, why did we put that in our book on money and love? Well, it really came out of realizing that uh, the choices that we have are not great ones when it comes to pursuing money and love. Our society, particularly in the United States, is not set up well to support people who are pursuing both. And when our policies and laws and culture um, does not value caregiving or really family time at all, it leaves many of us feeling frustrated and stuck. And so what we realized is that it wasn't enough for everyone to solve their money, love challenges individually, but for our systems to really change, we needed people to work um, beyond their individual families um, for change more broadly so that we can all be better off. I think we both consider ourselves change agents. I think we model our behavior on uh, Deb Meyerson's book, Tempered Radicals. And I think we consider ourselves tempered radicals. We want to make change from within the system. Um, <clears throat> and when I was um, a new assistant professor at Stanford in the early 70s, I worked to start the Stanford Center for Research on Women. Um, I assembled allies. Um, together, we made the case to the administration, the business case, of why this was important to have at a university. We were successful. The research on women went beyond any one of us. Um, and that Center for Research on Women is still in business today. It's now the Clayman Institute for Gender Research. And I did that from my vantage point within a large company when I was at Gap Inc. I um, helped to start the first employee resource group for parents, along with an ally, a working dad on the legal team. And we saw the power of assembling uh, a larger group than just ourselves. And so then everyone was not individually solving the questions of how to find childcare and how to navigate um, enrolling their child in preschool. And, and we've since moved on, you and I, from these institutions. But um, the, the change that we started endures. And we believe that everyone has the power to be a change agent. And change agents play a really important role in spurring our institutions to adapt to our fast-changing society. And so we hope that our book helps to create uh, more empowered people who are, yes, solving their own money and love questions, but also helping advance our society so that we're all left with better choices.